Alright folks, thanks for checking in for another edition of our daily forecast video here at Stormtopia.com, becoming not so daily nowadays. Let's take a look at the forecast for today, Monday, muggy and hot for all highs. Uh, you'll be lucky if you keep out of the 90s for many spots. I expect 92 in D.C., 95 towards Richmond in the 90s for most of the Mid-Atlantic major cities in the 90s in the uh, um, Ohio Valley as well. And this is going to be muggy, which is going to make it feel even worse. Really a great day to just stay inside and uh, watch some YouTube tornado videos, which is what I plan on doing. Alright guys, by the time I make our way out to Tuesday, this is when things get a little bit more interesting. We'll be able to break the pattern of the, the hot and muggy uh, conditions, but we're going to have to do it with severe storms. So as we make our way, uh, similar highs, although tomorrow could be even hotter for some, 93 DC, 97 just north of Richmond, 90s in Richmond itself, and the 90 in Boston, I do expect um, high instability, warm temperatures, high dew points to support thunderstorms late in the day on Tuesday. They will be uh, strong and likely severe and um, they're likely going to be coming through between noon and 5 p.m. We're going to uh, relay more information on them as we get closer to them. And You can see the storm details. This is a new graphic I've put together as I'm starting to learn more about this PowerPoint program I've been using. You can see my forecast uh, well, you can see, I mean, this is just, I'm just arming you with the data here. We're going to see, this is from the NAM model mostly. Um, Cape, anywhere in the yellow, if you can see the yellow, you're looking at 2,000 to 3,000 joules per kilogram in the oranges as well. And the uh, reds, we're going to be looking at over 3,000 to 4,000 joules per kilogram per cape. Even in the greens, they're going to be one, between 1 and 2,000 joules per kilogram. So it's going to be very dangerous. The Storm Prediction Center has only posted the slight risk for eastern New England and southern New England, although I do expect that they will extend it as we go throughout time. And the lifted index is going to be through the roof, guys, likely between minus 5 and minus 8. All right, and the dew points, most areas in the orange are going to be between uh, 60 and 70 dew points, uh, as you look towards the dew points here. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there will be some red spots showing up on the map. That is where you're going to be, about 75 to 80 degree dew points. And that is, that, that's beyond oppressive, guys. That's just awful. 80 degree dew points. It's going to make make it feel so much hotter than it is and that's why um, these temperatures through the day Tuesday never even mind the severe weather there's gonna be plenty of danger highs in the 90s here across the southern mid-atlantic if you combine that with 60s uh, for a dew point you know your your uh, heat index is gonna be through the roof and uh, these storms are gonna have so much energy to feed on it wouldn't surprise me if we see uh, some very heavy damage um, where they might strike so that is it for now. Uh, stay tuned, guys. I want you to come to the website tomorrow. Um, we might do a live streaming session during the heart of the storms coming through, and, you know, there will be more information on that as we go through time. So uh, thank you for checking in. Enjoy your day, and stay, f and stay safe out there.